Electric rates are skyrocketing. Interest rates are skyrocketing. Everything seems like it's changed in 2023 in the Florida solar industry. Now in today's video, I have a special guest for you, Michael Vergona Jr., CEO of Urban Solar Group in Florida. And we're gonna be talking specifically about the state of solar in Florida. Let's go to the interview. All right, well, well folks, uh, welcome back to the Solar Surge channel. I'm really honored to be joined here by Miguel Vergona Jr., CEO of Urban Solar Group in Florida. is one of the biggest solar installers in Florida uh, and our preferred mm -hmm. installation partner in Florida, especially anything uh, to do with Enphase. Uh, so Michael, I just want to say thank you for taking time to, to chat with Solar Surge today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, it's been a really exciting last, you know, last several months here in the solar industry. And uh, we'd really like to hear from you, you know, specifically, what are you seeing happening in Florida? What is changing in the solar space in Florida uh, over the last year? And how has it affected your business? Yeah, um, I mean, so we've seen interest rates increase. Um, and what we've seen happen there is um, our finance options have changed. Um, and, you know, those rates have gone up a little bit um, on, on the finance partner side of things. Still have some great options available for our homeowners uh, to be able to take advantage of. Um, but right now, just like everything else, just like your mortgage payment, I mean, things are just a little bit more expensive these days, um, which doesn't necessarily mean you shouldn't do it. Um, it just is a state of where we are uh, right now. I think, um, you know, we are in the slow season right now in regards to the solar in general. I think that's I think that's kind of nationwide. But here in Florida, it's typically the slow season, like in the December, January range. Pretty much when things kind of shut down, you know, pretty and get pretty slow. Um, but um, you know, we we are. If you can, I mean, you can check this. I, I, I just recently read this um, on online, but uh, we are also facing the height of uh, electricity costs. Um, they they peaked actually, uh, I think, in the fourth quarter of last year, and so we're seeing yes, of course, interest rates going up and things like that. But electricity rates continue to rise as people continue to electrify everything and buy more electric cars and um and increase the demand that's that's out there uh, on the on the grid just a word from our sponsor span.io and the span smart electrical panel if you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting how much energy you're storing and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I actually put a video out about, about a month or two ago talking about why rates are rising in Florida, you know, compared to the rest of the country. And I, as I understand it, you know, a, many of the utilities in Florida, you know, a large portion of the of the bill is directly linked to, to natural gas prices. So if fuel costs go up, the bill just goes up automatically, or at least a portion yeah. of the bill goes up automatically to match it. And I, I know some folks I've talked to that are on FPL or on JEA, and they're saying, you know, their 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 bills have gone up, you know, 10, 20, 30 percent compared to national average, I think is closer to eight percent. Mm -hmm. And it, and you know the crazy thing is it always happens silently. It's not like anybody gets a heads up that your bill's going up. It just happens. And so that is the reality of where we are at in the solar industry as solar experts is we are here to combat that. You know that the fact that homeowners really have no choice um, on how much they pay for electricity. I mean, they, and you wake up one day and your bill's higher, and you don't really have any explanation as to why. But um, you know, we're even with increased in interest rates and and stuff like that. Um, Costs for solar are starting to, to, to level off and even head head uh, south a little bit, um, which is making it even, you know, just uh, more affordable again. So everything is kind of working, you know, and, and kind of, you know, moving in different little ways that are still making solar attractive today. 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I, I don't know. I mean, I, I know, and I've been in solar for a while too, especially as a contractor, you're right. Winter is kind of the slow season, but I mean, this year it actually seems that we've had steady demand, you know, from Q4 last year into Q1 this year with, with the, the exception of maybe, maybe one week around, around like new year's holiday. But after mm -hmm. that, it seems like the, the demand is there. Now, part of that I think has to do with what you mentioned with the rates coming up. Uh, but the other thing that I've seen, and I, I haven't seen it like this before, is is that interest rates are rising very, very fast. Um, mm -hmm. and I've, you know, I've seen maybe interest rates go up 1% per year. Now we're, we're kind of seeing it. interest rates are going up 1% a month, it seems, over the last few months. Yeah. Um, yep. So, so how, yep. how, is that, how has that affected the business? Do you, do you see more people choosing to just, just outright purchase the systems, or do you still see people choosing to finance and take advantage of I guess, relatively low rates on a long-term perspective, but what, what are you seeing? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's unique to the, to the homeowner, um, but we are seeing a little bit more um, cash buyers, um, which, you know, is, is a great way to just, you know, get your investment started in, in solar. Um, we are seeing a little bit more of that for sure. Um, I mean, we still have our very high demand for home improvement financing, which we, we do offer, um, which has great rates, great terms. And even if you even if you were a cash buyer who was maybe on the fence about what to do in regards to paying for um, your solar cash or financing it, I mean, there's great options to just just to get you started, because really anybody in the solar industry is going to tell you just get started, because the sooner you start sooner you get yourself away from the variable um, electricity rate that you are paying right now. And so there's some great options out there that could allow you a little bit of flexibility so that if you were a cash customer, but uh, maybe you were a little bit on the fence about that, you, you could start with a finance option that's a shorter term and you could pay it off even quicker, um, at, you know, amplifying the, the value of your investment, you know, just that much faster. Sounds good. Sounds good. You know, it's 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 interesting to me too because when I started in solar, I was in Virginia, and and we were selling at a significantly higher price point than what you're offering now in Florida. In fact, if, if I look at it, I, I don't know that we've had to change our prices or or raise our prices as an install, uh, you know, as an installation offer. I know the interest rates are going up might mean that a monthly payment for the homeowner is a little bit higher, but. Um, I've actually, you know, been surprised that we've been able to hold our prices pretty steady, uh, even over mm -hmm. the last two years. Everybody's been talking about inflation and supply chain mm -hmm. and all that, but, but you know, given all that, you know, between us and Urban and the projects we've done, our our prices have been pretty steady. Yeah, not much change there. I mean, just the littlest bit of change, and you you probably saw that coming from us, and it's just. You know, it's it's the kind of change that's kind of you know business necessary, I guess you could call it, versus some of of the, of the other increases in in pricing that I've seen. You know, the run on plywood was a whole thing where you kind of didn't really understand why the cost of plywood went up, you know, nine thousand percent. But you know, really, we saw pretty steady pricing in terms of costs, the cost of solar panels. Um, but we did run into very real issues that are world worldwide issues, such as shipping costs going up. Um, we had an import tariff uh, situation that that happened over the course of the last two years that did increase the pricing a little bit. Um, um, but mainly because it, it wasn't necessarily because the this, this stuff got more expensive. It was more because the cost of getting it here got a little bit more expensive and the timeline for that stuff getting through customs got a little bit longer. So the carrying costs got a little bit more expensive. So we saw those costs go up when everybody was, um, you know, kind of going through it uh, over the last two years. Um, but now we're, we're seeing that calm down quite a lot. So yeah, it's been, it's been relatively steady and, and I don't anticipate it going in a bad direction going forward at all. I think we're headed for a really great, great place. Uh, I think that costs are going to start to level off. I think that it's going to provide a lot of opportunity for, companies like mine and yours and homeowners to be able to take advantage of solar, to do more solar, get more solar installed in Florida. Great. Great. Well, you know, my, my next question is actually, you know, to kind of link to that, which is, you know, in terms of the equipment that homeowners are, are you know, what can they expect to see available on the market? Now, for those of that have been following solar surge for a while, you know, we spent a lot of time out at the RE plus conference where we got to meet with a lot of the module manufacturers and a lot of the battery manufacturers. Uh, and I'm just curious, you know, as far as in Florida, um, what are you seeing? Are you seeing any new products that you think will be introduced this year or any changes in the products that we, we've been offering in the past? 
Yeah, actually I am. So right now our, our current offering is an Aptos 440, 440 watt module that's black on black. It's, it's all black. It's beautiful. Um, and we can install it with a rail skirt so that, um, so that it's a nice integrated look. There's, there's actually like a nice uh, black skirt that goes all the way around the, the array to make it look really nice and integrated into the roof. Um, and that's paired with an Enphase IQ7 Plus, which um, is a great microinverter um, for that module wattage. Um, we're, we're right there at the, um, the maximum output of that inverter, and we're thinking about longevity, right? We're not trying to pair it up, pair up that module with an inverter uh, out right from the start that is one that's maybe a little bit more pricey, thereby taking the, the financial efficiency of the system to a different level. So we're trying to get that maximum peak efficiency of what it is that we're pairing you know, together. Um, and so that's, that's the one option, but another option that we've got coming out, I haven't really made this super public yet, but I'll, I'll tell you about it here. We are, uh, we are looking at a, a Jinko 380 watt all black panel that's gonna be uh, manufactured and assembled in Florida at the Jinko um, facility at the Jinko manufacturing facility. And we are gonna pair that with an IQ8, which is the next series of the Enphase microinverter, which we're pretty excited about. It's the next level of technology. Um, and we feel that we can have a really, really competitive price point there as well. Um, if not the same or better um, as to as what we have right now, um, even, even though the module is at a slightly lower wattage. Makes sense. Okay. No, I, I know I've heard a lot. And, and when, I, when I actually met with the Jinko team in California, they did mention that they're going to be rolling out the all black module to be manufactured in Florida. So that, that'll be exciting as those become available. Yep. Um, so, so question for you, Mike, you know, regarding, um, regarding uh, battery backup and other accessories, you know, linked with the solar system, are you, do you see any other, you know, solar accessories, any new batteries, any new um, maybe load controllers or, or um, energy efficiency uh, options that might be available? No, I mean, but nothing nothing that really catches my eye other than um, the Enphase N-Charge solution, which I'm really, really excited about because they're starting to expand the capabilities of that system um, in such a way where you'll be able to track and monitor specific individual appliances in your house and see, you know, which ones are power hungry and see which one is on or off during an outage and you can have a lot more control over um, just really your energy independence, which I get really excited about. I, I get really excited about giving homeowners clean, simple to use options for managing their energy. Um, so we're really excited about that. Um, we, we are, we're really excited about the, uh, the N charge 10, um, which comes with the IQ load controller. Um, and we're, we're just, we're super excited about that solution. That's great. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I I try to keep up with all the different batteries and all all the different you know new products in the space. But it seems like most times we end up circling back to end phase. You know, it's that tried and true, that that tried and true workhorse. Whether it's the micro inverters, yeah. whether it's the batteries, um, you know, they just seem to have it have it well well supported. And that's the other piece is you know the the technical support because as we're putting these systems in, we're commissioning the systems. Or even as homeowners, as homeowners start to use the system on a daily basis, um, the level of support that Enphase has been able to provide is really, really second second to none. It's true. I mean, they really have it together. Um, and, you know, we, we get an even greater level of support uh, as well. Urban Solar is a platinum dealer. Um, a platinum end phase dealer, platinum end phase installer. So we get an even higher level of support than than most. I think there's only two or three of us in the entire state. Um, and so, you know, we're really happy to be partnered with them in that way um, and, and be able to get um, just greater uh, greater pricing advantages, um, greater service. Uh, we, we get all kinds of different visibility into new products as they're coming out. Um, we're, we, we love Enphase. We just think that they're absolutely the, the name and the game. Um, and we highly recommend them. We've been down the road with a ton of other products. We've tried, we've tried it all. We have not shied away from, uh, from trying out all the other options that are out there, especially the new ones that are, that are, you know, coming out here and there and stuff like that. But we've always come back to the same place, which is Enphase. Yep. And I've had a similar experience. I wouldn't say it's the only product that I have confidence in, but it, it is one of those brands where my confidence has been solid for the last five or six years. And, and there's, you know, we just keep coming back to it. It is a reliable yep. product, it is a reliable company, and, and, you, and, you know, they will pick up the phone and help you regardless of the situation, yep. which is a, you know, huge, huge. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Mike, yeah. I know your 
your business has experienced a lot of growth over the past year in particular. And I was hoping if you could just help help us, help our viewers and our and our clients also who are out there uh, understand. So what exactly is going on with Urban Solar as a company? Have you guys just gone over a restructuring or kind of what, what's going on internal? Yeah, I mean, we've been through, you know, some tremendous growth um, and tremendous demand. I mean, we've had, you know, one, we had one of the biggest years we've ever had in 2021. And, you know, I would be lying if I if I if I said it didn't come with its challenges and, and, it, and it very much did. And I and I feel like it's important to note that a lot of companies are going through the same thing. There's a lot of companies like Urban Solar out there in Florida that are um, just trying to manage this this great new opportunity in the solar business. Um, and, and we're trying to navigate it the best that we, that we can. And um, you see through through growth that, you know, your your system that you're currently using maybe becomes a little bit, you know, outdated. Um, you see that the process that you're running in, internally maybe uh, turns out not to not to be able to handle such a large volume. So we've certainly gone through that. We've certainly we've certainly gone through that over the last year. But um, I'm just really excited to be working with the team that I'm working with and to be able to have people on the team that are committed to learning from what we've gone through and being able to really focus on getting to our homeowners, getting to our customers, servicing our partners and just providing the best experience that we possibly can. Um, and now we know we're not perfect and we've made mistakes in the past and, and maybe there's a homeowner on, on here that that's uh, a, a current customer of ours. Um, and, and, you know, we're here, we're, we're here, we're not going anywhere. Um, we we're here to serve. And, um, you know, we, again, we know that, um, through this process of running and growing in the solar, running a business and growing in the solar industry, um, there's learning and there's, there's, uh, there's, there's things we have to overcome. And so I'm just, again, I'm just, I'm just happy to say that we're getting through stuff. I'm happy to say that we're really, really healthy as a company. Um, that solar remains in high demand, urban solar remains in high demand. Um, and just, we're, we're happy to be here. We're happy to continue going forward in the industry in, in Florida. Absolutely. Well, I, I can tell you, you know, having been in on both sides of the business now, you, you're doing an incredible job from what I can tell. And, and folks, if you're watching this out there, if you haven't been in the contracting business or the construction business, let, let me tell you, it, it's not easy. Uh, it's not mm -hmm. easy, and and especially when you're when you're offering your product at a very competitive price point, as Urban Solar does, you know it means that your your margin of error is very very small. You lose one key mm -hmm. employee, you have one vehicle accident, you have one little thing that upsets the system, and that can mean the difference between making a profit and taking a loss. And so I my my hats off to you Absolutely. because I I never got to the scale that you're doing, where you're doing hundreds of installations per month. You know I I remember my business, we were we were you know, frankly, we were struggling to to stay profitable doing dozens of installations per month. And, um, you know, and again, it's, you know, I think having having strong systems and processes is very, very important the larger you get, because, mm -hmm. you know, again, one one small thing can throw your whole process off. And that can mean the difference between the business profiting and, and taking a loss. And obviously, all of it's us, true. you know, we, we all want for you to be successful, right? We want for you to be successful. We want, you know, homeowners want for their their contractor to who installed their system to, to be in business long term to be able to mm -hmm. if, if their mm -hmm. service needed we want to keep all that within the same you know family so um really excited for your success and what you all are doing and um congratulations thank you now we're and, and we're excited for the partnership and thank you well folks that does it for today's interview um as always if you're getting good value from the information that we publish on solar surge be sure to give us a thumbs up uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we publish new videos like these, it'll come up on your home page and on your feed and you can keep up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a Florida homeowner and you're in the process of looking at solar plus battery backup options, uh, or maybe just solar only options for your home, if you need to get a price quote or if you need to get a comparison quote, just to make sure that you're getting the best pricing or getting the right equipment, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll just take you to our webpage where you can schedule a quick Zoom meeting with one of our experts here, and we can talk through the needs and requirements and provide some pricing and information for you. Well, folks, I thank you again for spending some time with Solar Surge. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.